Stewardship of our water supplies and effective and reliable water treatment is central to protection of public health in America. Yet inevitably, as water passes through reservoirs, forests, farms and cities, it picks up trace elements and minerals from the atmosphere, the ground and the critters that inhabit our watersheds, as well as from our lifestyles, fertilisers, medicines, cleaning products and industrial waste. Today we understand the importance of source water protection, along with water treatment processes that filter and disinfect our drinking water as necessary, so it's safe for human consumption. Our used water is also cleaned at wastewater treatment plants, to the point where it is safe for the environment. The pipes, plants and pumps that transport our used water and bring clean, healthy drinking water to our homes are tucked so neatly underground that this marvel of public health protection is just taken for granted. Diseases like cholera and typhoid that used to spread through municipal water systems have virtually disappeared. This progress has required massive investments by communities across the US. Modern water treatment technologies, backed by regulatory controls such as the Safe Drinking Water Act and the Clean Water Act, have produced some of the safest, most reliable drinking water systems in the world. Detection is the first step in protection. We used to look at a drop of water and see only the larger particles. With the invention of the microscope, we could see things in water that we'd never seen before. Powerful technologies, like electron microscopes and mass spectrometers, now give us the ability to detect extremely minute quantities of substances in water. Advanced detection can help us determine if the substances we find in our water are relevant to public health. Many things we find in water, like some minerals and salts, come from nature and are actually good for us in the right quantities. Minute traces of medicines in some drinking waters might generate a lot of publicity, but is it something to worry about? To determine the health effects at these concentrations, the US Environmental Protection Agency, or EPA, relies on a variety of scientific testing methods, including rigorous studies on toxins, public health and water quality analyses. The results of these investigations show the lowest dose of a particular substance that caused an adverse health effect. Scientists refer to this as the lowest observed adverse effect level. The tests also reveal the lesser dose at which no adverse effects were detected. And this is called the no observed adverse effect level. But the EPA doesn't stop there. To account for any uncertainties, the EPA writes the rules to limit the acceptable amount of any given substance to many times less than the no observed adverse effect level. That's super cautious. So for things like caffeine and medicines, studies have shown that you could drink thousands of glasses of water a day without adverse effect from these minute doses. Even if you're as ultra sensitive as babies or pregnant women. Although they're usually not detected in drinking water, substances like volatile organic compounds, NDMA and chromium-6 that come from industrial and water disinfection processes are occasionally detected at these low concentrations. They may potentially affect human health, dependent on the amount and duration of consumption. Armed with improving detection and safety information, water providers can make decisions so that they can continue to provide high quality, sustainable and affordable drinking water supplies. When we pay our taxes in our water bills, we're paying for more than the infrastructure. We're also paying for advances in detection technology, which will ensure that the trend towards safer and safer water continues. Each new detection level triggers new research by water scientists and engineers, and helps ensure that the best science available informs federal, state and local decision making. Water utilities in turn follow all federal and state regulations for monitoring and testing water. And they work hard to partner with industry and the public to protect and clean the water. And in fact, thanks to efforts by utilities and citizens to protect our source waters, coupled with far-sighted federal laws and other environmental statutes, the water environment is cleaner today than it has been in generations. This comprehensive system of water management will continue to produce some of the safest water systems in the world.